This video is going to walk you through how to use Visual Studio Code and GitHub together from your own computer or just a refresher on what we did in class. If you do not have Visual Studio Code installed, go, you can find it either just by doing a quick web search or you can go uh, to the Require Technologies and Accounts page in our Canvas course and Getting Started module. Go down to Finally, require computer skills after this hardware, software, and web applications needed. This was also on the home page. Here is the text editor for writing code Visual Studio. Go ahead and open that. Download it for the correct computer system you have, then open it on your computer. So here it is. I am not signed in. I can tell I'm not signed in because if I click on the accounts over at the bottom left of the screen, make this a little bigger. If I click on this accounts, which is the little person guy, I can see, oh yeah, okay. I'm not I'm not uh, in any accounts. So I have to click on backup and sync settings. When I click on that, a little thing in the middle opens up and it says, oh, do you want all of this stuff? Which I sure do, yeah, why not? So I'm going to click sign in. And then I'm going to sign in with GitHub. So go through the sign in process. You're going to get to a page where you will, it'll pop up and it'll say the site is trying to open Visual Studio Code. Yeah, and you can. You can check mark this box. Always allow VS Code.dev to open links of this type in the associated app. That's good. Open it, and you should go back to Visual Studio Code. And here, settings sync. Settings sync is turned on. Wonderful. And now, if you're paying close attention, before I didn't have my remote explorer here. Um, and source control, I think I had that, but I didn't have this, okay? So now, um, I can dismiss whatever message is going on, but when I click on accounts here, I'll see, aha, here it is, Julia Croco, okay. Now I can click on my actual remote explorer, and then from there, open remote repository, Remember, our repository is a place where all information is stored. And then I click on open repository from GitHub and it says it wants to open it. Yes, please open it. Sign in. You kind of got to go through this thing again. It's where it's like a big loop. Yes, continue. You might have to have that press that box. Okay, again. And then I'm like, okay, it's still not open. So click on it again, because basically you authenticated it in that last step. Now you're actually going to open the repository. And then I have my repository and ours is the one that we named as your username github.io. If you completed your repository setup correctly, then you only have a readme file in here readme.md and in your readme it should be empty mine i went ahead and put a description for what this repository is and if you've gone further you may also have your project and index.html one thing you need to remember is that anytime you change anything in here you're going to have to wind up pushing your project. Okay, so right now, like let's say I, um, bring, okay, so let's say I make this new update, and maybe I update a bunch of stuff, it doesn't matter. I need to go over to source control and commit and push, but I must make a message to myself. That's it. That's all I did was update the readme file. That's it. Commit and push. Good to go. And now what that's doing is making it so that if I go to GitHub, I actually see the updates right there in GitHub. Okay. But we're going to be managing most of our 
most of our github repository within visual studio code.